What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel today. We have our first game of the season here for season number five. Taking on Mississippi State. Then next week we're going to be taking on Ole Miss. Then Iowa State's our first home game. Followed by Western Michigan at home. Then we're back on the road at number nine Nebraska. Oregon is coming to town after that. So the first handful of games are going to be tough. We have an A for strength of schedule. As you can see, we're only going to be playing one HBCU team this year, and that's going to be Alcorn State. I'm thinking about rotating Southern and Alcorn State uh, every other year, just because I believe that we are just a more, you know, accomplished team right now, a better team as far as the players that we have on the roster and so on and so forth. I still want to keep the rivalries intact, but I'm just not going to do it every single year. So OB, he's going to be a red shirt. He's up to 78 overall. I want to give him an extra year of eligibility, so we're going to red shirt him. We also got some running backs that are pretty solid, man. 92 speed and 91 speed, respectfully, for these two freshmen, but they're going to get that red shirt work as well. The center who was a four-star recruit, uh, Larkins, of course, he's going to get that red shirt because I'm not trying to have a four-star on the roster as of right now. I want to get our program up to a three-star, which we could possibly do at the end of this season. Smith, we just have a lot of right ends, a lot of DNs. We don't really need him to play right now, so I'm going to try to just have him sit as well. Uh, Big Ross, he was the other four-star recruit. He's going to be sitting out this season as well. 82 speed at the linebacker spot is pretty solid. Everybody else is eligible. Everybody else is healthy. We're ready to go. We're taking on number 21, Mississippi State. Got a couple of 90 overall players. We still do not have that. But we do have Lester, who's an impact player at quarterback. And not just that, y'all. He is a senior. Like, he is a senior. And playing quarterback with him from his freshman year all the way up to now, he has improved. And I can feel the improvements and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool to see. So I'm happy with my decision of doing this dynasty this way. We might make a few changes to the rules that I have. We might not go after too many four-star recruits as we move forward in our dynasty as Owen is hurt. Luckily, though, for us, Morgan is his backup. And Morgan is better than Owen as far as speed and overall is concerned. Owen is my dude, though, so he's going to be staying as our starter as long as he's healthy. But it could be a situation like for you where you had Ed Reed, who was a starter, and Sean Taylor was backing him up. Ed Reed was that dude, but Sean Taylor is Sean Taylor. I'm just saying. Looking downfield, that pass is going to fall incomplete. That was Morgan that put a hit on the receiver. His timing was impeccable. So you can see that our freshmen are doing their thing as we get sacked right there. Going back to rules. We might just go after a whole bunch of three-star, two-stars, and one-star recruits from here on out. And maybe just have a couple of four-stars on the roster. Um, and that would be that. I'm not going to go after a whole bunch of four-stars here. Uh, moving forward. Right there, that's Evan McCoy. He's a true freshman, three-star recruit, bro. He, I'm going to have him play receive as long as his hands are working. He has a bunch of speed as well. And we're kind of lacking in the receiver department since we lost the homie Sam Jones. Rodgers to the outside, picks up this two. Second down, eight yards to go. Lester takes a shot deep downfield. Dahl, I'm expecting big things from you, baby. Big time catch right there. And we are marching with ease against the number 21 team. And they are going to find Big Carter. And he gets this one down to the six-yard line. So we cooking with grease. Grandma's recipe inside the 10. I'm liking what my team is doing so far. And now we got... Lemon to the outside, and Lemon takes it to the crib. Brad Lemon, another true freshman at the tailback spot. When we lose Rodgers and when we lose Bradshaw, these guys are going to take over, and I think we're going to be okay. Their speed, in my opinion, makes them better, but overall-wise, they are not better than Bradshaw and better than Rodgers, but their speed puts them on a whole nother level, if you ask me. Our defense could be for real. Broken up pass right there, forcing the three and now. Bradshaw, he gets the carry, trying to weave through traffic. He falls forward, and that's all I expect number one to do. Fall forward, get what you can, and call the day. McCoy is only a buck 75, man. He only weighs 175 pounds, so when we play SEC teams, those linebackers can put work upon his forehead, if you know what I mean. Lester going to pick up the first down using his feet. He was first team All-American, baby. You know we expect big things from him. Throwing a strike to Ashley, who's our number one receiver right now. Gets us inside the 20, and we're cooking a grandma's recipe yet again, baby. Lester down the sideline. He tips toes, picks up this one yard from the 15. Rogers up now, got Picks up a first down, and just like that, baby, we are inside the five. So kicking off the second quarter, we're inside the five. That's the four-yard line. We run the football, and no, 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 those linebackers ain't playing around. Lester throws a quick pass, and Ashley forgot his hands. 
back on campus. So Lester, looking down, Phil rolling out, still rolling, and we get sacked at the 10-yard line. Bring on Thomas and bring on the kick team. It's going to be a 26-yarder. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So we are going to take a 10-point lead with 4-11 to go in the second quarter. Now, after this game, I did decide to bump the quarter length up to six minutes. I believe that I, I don't know what it is, but I believe that maybe the way that they program the game, develop the game, that the, the quarter length does affect gameplay. So we, we, we're going to try that, see if we get some different gameplays here uh, throughout the season as Chavis goes down. And that's not a good look because we're kind of thin when it comes to the linebackers that I know. Okay, we lost some guys that I know. So hopefully some freshmen can step up if Chavis is going to be out for a while. But we forced another... I guess three and out, you can call it. It really wasn't a three and out. I did pick up one first down, I believe. But hey, four and out, I'll take that. Lester to the outside, going to tuck in and run again. Couldn't take a shot deep, but why risk it? We got the lead. Let's not turn the ball over right here. Going to roll out with Lester throwing a strike to the homie Long. Makes a man miss at the 50 and went back in Bulldog territory. Quick pass to Rogers, who fumbles the football, and they recovered. So we didn't want to turn the ball over at all. We had the lead. We're marching down field, about to go up at least three possessions. If we score a touchdown, it'll be three possessions. But right there, we fumble. And now our backup middle linebacker, young Eric, is hurt. So we're down to a couple of freshmen whenever we go to a four linebacker set. So Ford, looking down field, takes a shot deep. And it was good coverage, but it was a better pass and a better catch. And now the Bulldogs are looking like they are going to score because right now they're in prime position to do so. From the 13-yard line. And they're going to get dropped in the back. My homie Marshall is in there for a loss of two. They're going to run the ball. And Hairston crosses the goal line. Touchdown, Mississippi State. And they are crawling back in this one. Now they're only down by three. So if we can score before the half, I would greatly appreciate it. Brad Lemon up to the 20. And he got some speed but couldn't quite hit the hole hard enough. But he did pick up a solid kick return way up to the 26-yard line. Out route ran by Ashley. Perfect pass by the homie Lester. And that is going to be a first down. Lester going to roll out. Looking down. Phil lets a fly. And I guess miscommunication was the problem on that play from the 40. Second down. 10 yards to go. Lester going to pitch it. Hits the receiver. And it's going to be ruled a fumble and a loss of three yards from the 37 now. Lester tucks it and run. Lester headed to the first down marker. Won't quite get there. Mississippi State's going to burn a timeout, and they're going to run the football. Good tackle right there by Marshall, and that might mean that they're going to just run the clock out from here. 20 seconds on the clock. Taking a shot deep in the quadruple coverage. Nearly caught off of the tip, but it falls incomplete. So 16 seconds on the clock. Looking to go downfield, and that's going to be intercepted. So our third string middle linebacker comes into the ball game, gets the INT. Give me that Yahoo! Is that her? And we got this thing going back the other way until we throw a pass that was very underthrown, and that leads to an interception. And now what they're gonna do with it? They're just gonna run the football, and that's gonna bring the first half to an end. No, they're gonna run the ball one more time. Why not run the ball one more time? Breaking tackles. Yeah, my heart was in my throat, but we stopped them right there. And now we're going to go to the second half. We got the lead, and we're going to have the ball first to kick things off in the second half, right? So we're up by three points. We got the ball just shy of the 20-yard line. We're going to run the football with Lester, and we go backwards. Second down from the 17. Lester running the option. Got McCoy by his side, decides to keep it, dives out of bounds, has a first down in his back pocket. Bradshaw to the left side, trying to get out of a tackle. Can't quite do it. And now we're looking at second down and seven from the 33-yard line. Lester going to tuck in and run. And he gets past the line of scrimmage just barely. So third and six. Can we convert right here? We got McCoy underneath the stick. We take a shot deep to the sideline. And that pass is going to be broken up. And here come the Bulldogs. But Smith is in there with the sack. Second down and 15. We're sending a blitz back-to-back -back sacks by the Tigers defense. Third down and 22. Ford looking downfield, lets it fly. Man on man coverage is caught. And that's gonna be a completion as they get inside our territory down to the 26 yard line. Ford has a man to the right side. Nice tackle by Thomas and that leads to a gain of three from the 23. They run the ball and Parker is there for the tackle for loss. So third down and eight, play fake. Ford rolling out, testing Jonathan Parker. That's not a good recipe for success. They got to set up for a field goal, kick us up. 
and the kick is good. So Mississippi State, they're going to tie this thing up at 10. We take over. What can our offense do? Lester rolling out. Still rolling. Let's it fly. Caught by Lemon, and Brad Lemon makes the catch. And we're up to the 50-yard line. First down and 10. McCoy gets us in Bulldog territory. Tries to make a man miss. Can't quite do it. But he did pick up a first down, so let's go. We're going to run the read option. Bradshaw running people over. Still on his feet and all the way down to the 21. So first and 10 from the gun. Lester rolling, rolling. Let's it fly. Caught by a dog. Crosses the goal line. Touchdown, Tigers. And now it's 17 to 10. Four trying to bring his team back. Throws over the middle, but overthrows everybody except for the guys wearing white. Owen with the interception. He's back in the ball game. And he's making everybody know that he's the top dog at safety. So 17 to 10 is now the score. We take over. McCoy gets brought down by the face mask. Tack on 15 yards in the automatic first down. From the 17-yard line, Lester's in the zone. He's going to roll out. Still rolling. Stop. Fires it to the end zone. Caught by Ashley. Took a major hit. And he's feeling it as he walks off the field gingerly. So Mississippi State now finds himself in a hole. Good tackle right there by Marshall on the big fullback. Now they go with a toss play, and we there with the homie Bonnet. Tackle for loss. Can we force a three and out? Ford under pressure, we get in there again. Jonathan Parker with his second sack, and we take over. We're in the fourth quarter now. Rodgers to the left side, huge hit. Put on the tailback, and that's Lawrence, and he's a beast. Lester rolling out. Lester breaks one tackle, avoids the rush. Now he's dropping way back, still dropping back. Finally decides to throw the ball away, and we live to play another down. Third down and 11. Rolling out is Lester, throwing it back side. Caught by McCoy. Moved the change. Remember, he's a running back that I got playing slot receiver whenever we go five wide, at least for right now. Bradshaw taking it up the gut. He gets nothing. There was a face mask on that play as well. So up to the 24-yard line. Second down and 10. Throwing a strike. That gets dropped. Long gets dropped as well. Huge hit in the secondary. And now it's third down and 10. Lester lets it fly off of his man's arms. And now we got to set up for another field goal. The 41 attempt is up. And Thomas has improved as a kicker. Right down the pipe. And it's 27 to 10. Harrison to the right side. Breaks one tackle. Fighting for every inch. And gets dropped a yard or two shy of the first down marker. Second down, one yard to go. Ford steps up in the pocket, caught by Green. And that's the first down. They continue to march. Looking downfield, that's going to be caught by Dawson. Breaks one tackle. And Dawson gets up the sideline. And they're back in Tiger territory, down by 17. Ford takes a shot deep. And it's going to be broken up by Moore. Give me some more of that. Ford throwing it. Broken up again. This time by Chavez and the Blue Birds are starting to come out. Ford. Has all day in the pocket. Takes another shot deep to the end zone. Another incompletion. But that one looked like it hit the receiver in the hands. So Ford takes another shot deep. This time he overthrows everybody. And we're going to take over the chance to milk the clock and get up out of here with a W. I don't know if you can call this an upset. Don't call it an upset. We expect to win games like this. Bradshaw to the left side. He's going to get brought down. And now it's third down and four. Going to run the ball one more time. But Lemon probably should have just went up the gut with it. Instead, he bounces it. And now Mississippi State takes over the chance to maybe cut into this lead. But that pass will be dropped again. And the Bulldog faithful, they're not liking this. Ford under pressure. Let's a fly. Caught. Johnson gets brought down by Moore, who strips him. And Owen jumps on top of it. And ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be all she wrote. Number 21 in the nation has fallen to those mighty, mighty Jackson State Tigers. So we came, we saw, we done did our thug fizzle. Okay, I'm happy, but we know that the schedule gets even tougher than what it was in week number one. But Lester, 11 of 18, 244 yards, two TDs, one interception, completed, what, 61% of his passes? Is that what it says? Is that what I saw? That's a pretty solid day, if you ask me. Bradshaw had seven carries for 34 yards. Lemon, three carries for 20 yards, plus that TD. We have a lot of running backs. I don't think we're going to have a lead dog. They just got to hang on to the football. Rodgers, he fumbled, and I stopped using him that much. So if he hangs on to the ball, he is our best running back, in my opinion. But my opinion can always change. You know what I'm saying? It's like feelings. Sometimes you feel like this. Other, the next day you feel something totally different. Jonathan Parker, seven tackles. So with Marshall, but Parker, four, for loss, four tackles for loss and two sacks. The boy's a beast, man. The boy's a beast. Hayes got in there. He's our third stream middle linebacker with the INT. Owen also had one. And he also had a fumble recovery. The homie Owen played big. Moore, he forced a fumble. That was big because that iced the game. Scott Moore, 
He's a beast at corner. Charles Owen, he's our senior leader back there in the DB section. And he's doing a marvelous job leading our troops. That's going to do it for today's episode. Next week, we're going to be taking on Ole Miss. They're on a three-game losing streak dating back to last year. I hope to see you all there. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And until we meet again, my friends, peace, love. Say it with me. Hot sauce.